Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to make an intro in Adobe After Effects. This is a very simple tutorial and I'm sure even beginners can follow along. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button and let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a new composition. So if you have the newer version of Adobe After Effects, they'll have this option right here to just click on it, or you can go to composition and new composition. If you're using the older versions, it's the same thing really. And then you can change the settings accordingly to, you know, what your video settings are, what your frame rate is, what's your resolution, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to change the background color here to white, just because the banner in my logo is, you know, white, right? So it kind of fits. So I'm going to press okay right here. Now I'm going to press on the text tool right here and type in my name so steven van i'm gonna make it all caps actually and then we're gonna align it in the middle so go to align click right here so on the second and then the fifth options right here the fifth shortcut so the second shortcut um, aligns it horizontally and then the fifth one aligns it vertically so it goes right in the middle now you want to go to character and you want to select your color at first it's probably like this where it's a solid color but you don't want that you want just the border so you don't want to fill so you don't want anything in the letters right here so all you want to do is just swap fill and stroke because as a default the stroke is nothing that's why it has a red line across there's no color selected so you want to uh, um, highlight your text and then just flip it and then you'll have a border to change the size of this border or the stroke whatever you want to call it all you want to do is go to here right here and then just increase it i personally like it as a thinner line now right click on the text layer and then go to change shapes from text now it'll make a shape layer off of the text and all you want to do is press the drop down menu go to add trim paths and now go to trim paths one and press the drop down menu again and now essentially all you want to do is put a keyframe for zero at the end and then make 100 at the beginning so as you can see here when zero is set at start the whole text is there but when it's set at 100 you can see it's gone so essentially just click start so click on the keyframe right here so at the beginning there will be nothing there will be no text and then at the end make it back to zero so that there is so essentially all it does is it goes from 100 to zero so you can see the numbers move and what this will do is it'll start at no text at all and using the trim paths the effect it'll go and kind of fill in the outline of the text so if i play it right here it'll load better the second time and you can adjust how fast the transition from zero to hundred goes by just moving the keyframe closer and farther so let me just move it closer so that you can see the effect in action so press play. So it fills in the outline and to make it a little bit more smooth, the transition, you just want to highlight this right click, go to keyframe assistant, go easy ease in and do the same thing for the second keyframe. Go to um, keyframe assistant, easy ease out this time, and then it'll be a little bit smoother. And I think this is a bit too slow. So I'll move it a little bit inward and then press play. So there you go. This is around like four seconds. You can see right there, that's five seconds, but you can make it longer if you want. But yeah, that's a really cool effect that I just found out recently. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it helped you out. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. But I'll find you.